I'm going to walk you through how to create a simple application using Falcon, the LLM, and Langchain with Streamlit as the framework. So we're going to be implementing the Falcon LLM instead of the OpenAI, okay, which is an open source. All right, so this application enables you to ask a question and it's going to give you a response. So as you can see, I asked the um, application to write ways to lose weight in two weeks and it's giving me an answer which really is a good response from the model. Okay, so it says first you should drink plenty of water to stay hydrated. Second, eat a balanced diet. Um, with plenty of fruit and vegetable, you get some exercise and get enough sleep. Okay, yeah, so it's giving a good, very good response. Um, okay, so let me input the second one. Okay, um, right ways to be financially. Dependent. Okay, let's see. All right, first you need to create a budget and stick to it. This means tracking your expenses and income and making sure your income is easy your expenses. All right, yeah, so finally you should also look for ways to make to make money online, freelancing or taking service. Yeah, so as you can see, this really, really gives a good response. All right, so, I'm going to, so you can try it in several ways and how you can um, implement that. Okay, so I'm going to show you step-by-step step how this was built. And, okay, so within the hanging phase, we have um, the Open LLM leaderboard and it's giving us much information. Okay, so as you can see, the Falcon is leading the chart with the models. So we have a lot of models in here. So this is the Falcon 40 billion instruct. Okay. Um, yeah, so we have several of them here. So a lot of models that you can apply to your uh, to your models or you can use in creating different kinds of models. Okay. All right. All right, okay, we have a lot, a lot of them here. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using the uh, um, the Falcon 7B Instruct for this demonstration. Okay, so the Falcon B Instruct is a 7B parameters, casual um, decoder only model that's built with a Technology Innovation Institute based on the Falcon B and found tuned and it's found tuned on a measure of chart and instruct data set. It's a lot of them. All right. So and it's uh it's made available under the Apache license, which makes it an open source. Okay. And here's the slide information here. Um it's a strong base model, it's just a, a performing comparable open source model, okay? And thanks to being trained on 1,500 billion tokens, that's a huge, 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 huge um, tokens of refined web enhanced with cooperated Copra, right? So it's a lot of text that has been put into making this model, okay? Yeah, so that really, really makes it um, give a um, high level of accuracy in terms of response. All right, um, I'm gonna go through slight information here. I think it has some bias in here. So bias and the risk limitation is, um, it's mostly trained on English data and will not um, generalize appropriately to other languages. In our case, if it is trained with other languages, it's going to be biased and it's not gonna give an accurate um, response to your input okay yeah so let me quickly get into the code and show you how this was built okay so i'm going to be attaching the link in the description below so if you want to get more into this 
right? That would be awesome. All right, so we are going to be needing these packages. So we're going to be needing the streamlet for the framework. So we're going to be importing it as ST, long chain, have the hugging face, have hugging face hub, okay? And we're going to be also import the API key from the uh, API API key hanging phase. So I actually named this this way. Okay, so it is my um, API key from um, the hanging phase. Okay, all right. So you can um, redeem. So I'm going to show you how you can um, import that. So you can go to your um, hanging phase account and you check for access tokens and you can copy that from this um this area okay so you can just copy that and you come and paste it into your um into your code okay so i named my api key hanging face so you can see it here and i've imported it from api key hanging face i'm importing the api key which is this one Okay, so I'm putting the OS as, as, as well. I'm going to um, set the hanging phase hub API token. So I'm going to make the uh, make sure to, like I was saying, I stored my API key here. So I made it the API key hanging phase. So I'm going to set the environment variable for the um, API key. So as Again, you can see I have the script here, okay, for the hanging face. So I'm gonna post that. Uh, I'm gonna post that um, link as well, okay. All right, so you can see how this works. All right, so I made it here. So I'm saying that import OS, and I'm saying the creating environment variable, okay. So you just copy that and paste it here. The next one is to set up the language model to use the hanging face repository. So the repo ID, okay. So in this case, okay, so this one I'm talking about. So selecting the model, the repo ID. So in place of this one, I'm gonna paste, the, I'm gonna paste this one here, okay. I'm going to paste this here because I'm going to copy this one. All right, that's the model. I'm going to paste it here. Okay, so I'm going to create a variable called the LLM and I'm going to assign that to the hanging face hub and I'm going to call in the model name. That's the repo ID. Okay, I'm going to set the model quad. That's the temperature to 0 0.3. All right, so as you can see here, have the hanging phase, the repo ID, the temperature 0, 0.0. So that changes the randomness of the outcome. So you can change it to whatever use cases you have and the max length. So the max length, the only thing that I change here, okay. All right, so the max new token, I made it 2000, okay? And, okay, so you can change it to whatever length that you have, you want to change it to, okay? And I'm going to create a template. Okay, so set up the prompt template. I'm gonna call it the template. So this is very important in um, allowing the, um, so whatever prompt you put in there, whatever um, information you put in the template is gonna give you that output. So in this case, I'm saying that you are an artificial intelligence assistant. The assistant gives helpful, detailed and polite answers to the user's question. Okay, I'm going to call in the question here. Okay, 
right? So this means that whatever you want to put in there, it pays off on that. What you put on a template is going to give you an output, okay? So just be mindful of the information that you put in there, okay? Yeah, so you can also get that here, how to um, put the uh, information in the template. So the prompt template refers to the possible way to generate a prompt, okay? It contains a text string. All right, so these are all information that will be helpful. I'm gonna paste that as well. So you can also go through that, okay? So we can see example, I want to act as a naming consultant for a new company. So what is a good name? All right, so yeah, so based on your use cases, you can change the prompt in there, okay? Just to give you the desired outcome. And I'm gonna say the prompt is equal to the prompt template, I'm gonna say the, the template. So the template is gonna be this one here. The input variable is gonna be the question, okay? And the chain, so this one this is gonna give the response. So we're gonna go through the chain in order to give out the um, response from the prompt. Okay, I'm gonna call the LLM. In this case, I'm gonna pass the, the hugging face hub, right? I'm gonna put the model and everything in the in the chain so that it can interact with the prompt. Okay. And the next one is to build the create the screenplay tab. In this case I'm gonna call it script title. I'm gonna name it Falcon LLM question answers. I'm gonna get the user input. I'm gonna create a text box and say enter your, your question and it's going to generate a response and give going to give a button so that when you hit the button to get answer it's going to spin so st dot spinner generating the answer and it's going to give the response using the llm chain dot run and it's going to pass the question in there to run and give the response from the chain and it's going to print um give us the response okay so this goes to ensure that it runs okay yeah so that is the uh um, brief um, outcome and the explanation to the code. Yeah, so you can go ahead and play with it and then see how it responds to that. Okay, so if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe and share. See you in the next one.